Okay, uh, this is John here, and I'm going to walk through the closure cones number one about equalities uh, using the IntelliJ LaClosure plugin. So I've got the REPL opened at the bottom, and we can just evaluate all the cones. And uh, if we get it right, then they evaluate the true. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one says. We shall contemplate truth by testing reality via equality. So uh, we're going to test whether something equals true. So we'll do true equals true, and that should evaluate to true. And indeed, we see down here at the bottom that we uh, return value of true. Great. All right, so let's move on to the next one. To understand reality, we must compare our expectations against reality. Okay, so what is equal to 1 plus 1? Uh, 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. All right, good, I got that. Okay, you can test the, you can test equality of many things. So we have the equality test plus three different arguments. So we have uh, 3 plus 4, we have 7, and 2 plus something, so type five there so that we have seven equals seven equals seven let's try that out and yes it says that's true good okay some things may appear different but be the same so here we have the test of equality of two and two over one so they appear different because that says 2 over 1, but that should evaluate to exactly 2. So this is true. Okay, so we got that right. Okay. You cannot generally float to the heavens of integers. So here we have the strict comparison of 2 and 2.0, which is a floating point number. So that is false. Those are not strictly identical good so we got that right okay we'll move on down here and here we have but a looser equality is also possible so here the double equal sign uh, is 2.0 loosely equal to 2 that's probably true yes that is true great okay something is not equal to nothing so let's figure this out so is one equal to nil no so that would be false and not false is true so, true good all right next one strings and keywords and symbols oh my so we have is the string foo equal to the keyword foo and which is also equal to the symbol foo. And that can't be the same because those are all, all different things. So false here. And we got that one right. Good. Okay, so make a keyword with your keyboard. So we're going to make a, a keyword foo out of a string probably. So let's type in the string foo. Pass that to the keyword function and see if we get the keyword foo. Yeah, we sure do. Now, let's see if we do the symbol foo. What do we get? Good, also the keyword foo. And lastly, let's check if we pass in the keyword foo to the keyword function. Do we get the keyword foo out? Yes, we do. Great. Okay, next one. Symbolism is all around us. So, let's do the same thing. We'll try to make the symbol foo out of the string foo. Yep, that works. We will try it with the keyword foo. No, down here we didn't get true. We have a class cast exception that doesn't work because we can't cast a keyword to a string okay 
And lastly, let's try to change a symbol into a symbol. And that does work. Great. Okay, lastly, when things cannot be equal, they must be different. So what is different than the keyword fill in the blank? Uh, okay, we'll do the keyword, uh, yes. And that's true, that's not equal. Um, we do a string. Fill in the blank. Also not equal. Uh, how about we try not equal with nil? Still true. And what if we just don't even pass in an argument? What happens then? Then it breaks. Okay, good. So that is all of the first closure codes.